Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about shea butter versus Garnier hair food to see which works best in the lock method. Keep watching to find out the results. Hair smoothie, not hair smoothie, my bad. Hair food, banana, and shea. Well, this has shea and butter in it, so let's see how this works. Consistency. It smelled really yummy. Make face and the well, make sure you get your face. Going with a little bit of glue. I'm just using my fingers to smooth it in. I'm just using a coat. Get up any extra knots from my leg. Now we start with the flat twist. Okay. Just start off by taking, you can take smaller sections in, but good at the time I'm just doing big sections. Twist is normal. And then you take some from the bottom section, twist it around, take some. The bottom section for both top and bottom, and then you keep going down until there's no more hair left. I make sure that I am delicate on my edges here because I tend to be a bit hard on my hair, not soft as you're supposed to be. Bottom and add a little bit more oil, a little bit more shea butter, and after I just put them back on my hand. And then twist it up, make it tight. I'm gonna make not to make sure to not make my bed too much too tight. So hard on myself, it's true. Could look like a fool, but do. Feeling hiding, backsliding, keep rewinding, falling into a different loop. Trying to find the things I knew. Okay, now moving on to the other side, I'm just doing the same thing except with 
no leaving conditional whatsoever, just one. Okay, so there we go. Got three bench mounted, and on the left side is down because I tend to sleep on this side. So now a satin bonnet and off to bed. See you guys tomorrow. It's the next day, so I just, you know, washed my face, did my to put new makeup on, as usual, and now we're going to take out the flat twists slash normal twists. So, as you can see, on the right side I have my hair food, and then on the left side I have my shea butter. So I'm just using some olive oil that I was left over from the day before, and I'm just using that to take out my twist so it doesn't frizz that much, but spoiler to come, it does. That's the right side with the leave-in, which smells okay. And now we're doing the right side with the shea butter. Oh, I want my fingers. They honestly feel the same. Okay, so I'm just going over my hair again with a little bit of olive oil and I'm just trying to separate the curls so I know it's going apart so it doesn't look that much frizzy-ish, so I'm just doing that throughout my whole head. Okay, so I just separated the curls. From first look, this side the right side looks more moisturized. I mean, it does still dry because my ends haven't been trimmed in a while. Um, if you've seen my last video, you would know that I did cut my hair myself. I cut it instantly and then I cut it again just about a year or so later. I also regretted that. So, I'm not sure if I would cut off the ends myself or just get, just probably really get someone from the salon to do it. That may affect the results. But from so far, this feels more straw-like, maybe because I either didn't add too much or I basically applied it on dry hair because I just got out of the shower the night before and my hair was pretty wet already so I didn't bother putting extra water on it. I did put a little bit in some areas but I didn't want to go to bed and wake up with a cold. So you can see that on this side, 
my flat twists are more fine it's definitely shiny um as a fuel test this one i can still feel the product on it so i probably won't have to moisturize my my hair for a couple days we'll see if i can stretch it a week this side Again, I can feel the product, but this one feels more straw-like. Again, this could be due to um, heat damage. So I'd say the winner is using the Garnier or any leave-in conditioner that you have. Um, I've seen some videos where Natural has have used um, this type of hair food by Garnier, probably using um, more natural products for your hair type would be better. I know there's like Kinky Curly, Shea Moisture is a good one, different um, types of um, hair conditioners that are more suited to their hair type would be better than this, but since this was cheap, I got it. And so far, it works. I'll give my hair a three month trial with this and see how it goes. So I would recommend your, your liquid, whether it be your water, your leave-in conditioner, oil, and then I'm going to try and do both together and then see if I get a better result with my lock method. Especially now, since it is winter time and that's when your hair is most driest, even though natural hair is dry mostly all time, all year round, no matter the season. So I always have to put a lot of moisturizer on it anyway. So overall, I'd say using Garnier and Shea Butter together or any leave-in conditioner and shea butter together will be better than just going without just using one or the other. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye.